Hi, it's Mrs. Moss here, and no, we're not talking about the TV show The Big Bang. We're actually going to talk about the formation of the universe, and what really is the universe, and how our universe is structured. So when we talk about the universe, what we're really talking about are all of energy, matter, space, everything that's in existence, really. And it's estimated to be about 15 to 17 billion years old. Now, it started with this incredible explosion known as the Big Bang, and we call it now the Big Bang Theory, where it really means that all of energy, matter, and space existed. It did not exist at all, and it came out of this explosion that everything formed from. So here's a little bit of a diagram to show you what I'm talking about. We move from this explosion of energy to form from that all the galaxies, the stars, the solar systems, the planets. Now we have evidence that this occurred, believe it or not, and it, what first evidence is from the what's called the Doppler effect and what we know that certain elements and certain gases give off energy. Now, depending on where on the spectrum it is, if you remember our electromagnetic spectrum, certain wavelengths are certain lengths, and colors are also associated with certain wavelengths. So what the astronomers have discovered was that certain galaxies are emitting certain energy and certain elements, and those elements each project a different color. So if you look here, we have hydrogen, and it gives off all of these different tones on the electromagnetic spectrum. These, these are actually wavelengths that are documented that have been given off by these elements. And so with that, we can say whether or not a galaxy is moving towards us or away from us. Now, as we've looked at the electromagnetic spectrum, we, we've discovered that long waves are associated with red, and short waves are associated with blue. So when a galaxy is giving off red light or red energy, it is going away from Earth. If the energy that is given off by a galaxy is blue, then it is coming towards Earth. And that's what this animation is showing. So blue light has much shorter wavelength than red light. And as I just mentioned, when the object is moving towards Earth, it will get blue, and when the object is moving away from the Earth, it reaches the red end of the spectrum. I want you to remember this by thinking of Superman. If you can remember, Superman's cape is red. So if he's going away from you, then that means you see his red cape. But if he's coming towards you, then you see his blue uniform. So it's a good analogy to help you remember. So this is the Doppler effect and we see this spectrum of lines. How we look at this and how we determine whether it's moving towards the red shift or towards the blue shift is we compare lines on the spectrum. So if you see this standard spectrum, the thicker line and the thinner line are right kind of towards the center. Well, in the next picture, the blue, the lines have moved towards this blue side. So you see the pattern is the same, the thicker line and the thinner line, but now it's just over more towards the blue. So that would have be representative of a galaxy that's moving closer to Earth. However, if all of a sudden they see the lines moving towards uh, the right side or the red spectrum in this instance, the thicker line and the thin line moved closer to the red, so then they know the, move, the galaxy is moving away from Earth blue shift and red shift. You won't see them together like that. They're usually separate. It either goes one way or the other. So the light received from distant galaxies, stars indicate that the, they're expanding in all directions. If they're going out away from Earth, then it's continuing to expand. The farther away from Earth, it's called a greater 
redshift, so there is a direct relationship. The farther away from Earth, the greater the redshift. Or the other way around, the, <laughs> the greater the redshift, the farther away from Earth. You know what I mean. So here's just a picture of different color spectrums and how it would be moving towards or away from Earth. The next piece of evidence that we know the Big Bang occurred is from cosmic background radiation. Now scientists um, put probes out there to get sounds and receive sounds from space and throughout all of their recordings a low undertone of static was present and they realized eventually that that static was evidence of the Big Bang that had occurred billions of years ago and this background noise is what they used to help determine that. So that leads us to the structure of the universe. The structure of the universe, the universe is the largest uh, being, I guess you could say. It consists of thousand billion, 100 billion galaxies. Each galaxy has 100 billion stars. And from those stars, we have solar systems that revolve planets or object, celestial objects that revolve around it. So we must have a gazillion solar systems in our Earth, in our universe. Now where would this Earth fall in there? Well, let's look. We have our universe, and this is our, these are pictures from Hubble Space Telescope that projected outwards from space and gave us this awesome image. And you can see various um, galaxies in that image. So this is a galaxy, and in this galaxy we have a solar system. And in that solar system, we have us here on Earth. And actually, Earth is present on the Milky Way galaxy. But there are three different kinds of galaxies that we have discovered. Spiral, which is what the Milky Way galaxy is. Elliptical, which is more oval shape, as we've learned when we were studying the orbits of the Earth. And irregular, don't have a set shape. And as I said, the Milky Way galaxy is our galaxy, on, and it's a spiral galaxy, and this is where our solar system is within the Milky Way galaxy. It's on the three-quarters of the way up the arm of the spiral, or down <laughs> one of the spirals. Here we are again, and again, and again. It's about 100,000 light years in diameter, and yet it's about 10,000 light years thick from the side view. And I'm going to leave you with that for now. And I want to leave you with this cool image, another picture that was taken from the Hubble's telescope of a nebula, because this is also a part of our universe. And we know that this is going to eventually lead a, to a star. But this is a nebula that's in formation with clouds and dust and the gravity attracting it together. It's a pretty cool picture, isn't it? The universe is amazing. We have so much still to discover. Well, that's where we'll leave off. Take care. Have a great day.